Another film's coming into the state of Florida. I, I think we can do it. Thank you, Joe. Uh, our presence in Florida, I really, uh, I really suspect once we get going and the Hollywood syndrome sees what's happening in Florida, We've asked you all to come here today. Nothing happened. When I went to Daytona to do a show and they weren't prepared for me, so I'm suing the promoter for breach of contract. It's that simple. I never walked out on a performance or a commitment in 48 years on the stage. If I did, it had to be pretty bad. They just didn't have seats for my band, lights for the show, a microphone to perform. Other than that, it was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and before I'd walk out and rip off an audience at $10 a ticket with a 6,000 seat sellout, I'm not about to do that. Take the money and run is not my style, my friend. But the promoter, of course, will announce something else because he's got a safe face. But when he gets my attorney's letter, I think he'll get a little humble. Yes. What's oh, the bartender? He has, to go to the <laughs> he has to go to the toilet, and I thought it was someone with a question. previous producer, Mr. Proctor, did not come up with the money. It's simple as that. So all of a sudden we had to stop shooting, unexpectedly, and we had to reorganize, regroup. Mr. Proctor is no longer involved with the film. Uh, Jerry Lewis and I are trying very, very hardly to assemble the funds, and we're just about there. I think by next week we'll resume shooting. Okay, you're the lady that has to handle all the extras. What is happening here today? Well, yes, I am the casting director. That means I handle the stars, the principal roles, the background, and the extras, which there are 400 and probably end up with 500 today. How do you keep them in line? Well, as you can see, I have lots of help. I have very able assistants. I have a bullhorn, which I use. Otherwise, I lose my voice. But for more, the most part, most of the people here are enthusiastic. We had talked about it a little bit earlier. And uh, being South Florida, we don't have what we call a Screen Extras Guild. We do in Los Angeles, which means people are more apt to want to participate here because it's, we don't do it every day. And today we're doing a scene with Jerry Lewis playing Bo. Bo is his clown personality. That's what he is in this film. He is a clown and a very successful one until the, the circus goes bankrupt. Uh, what this is, is uh, he, he becomes a mailman, sorry. He becomes a mailman because uh, temporarily he doesn't have a circus to perform in. But he reverts back to his clown character in this particular scene. And uh, he's delivering his mail in this clown outfit. He accumulates, of course, interest and uh, the crowds start to build up and follow. And he's been trying to deliver two rabbits while being a mailman for the last several weeks. 
And of course, uh, the people are never home, and two rabbits make four, et cetera, et cetera. We now have 500 rabbits. So if I could. Yes, of course. You've got 500 people around here, 400, right. 500 Almost people 500, around here. Right. How do you keep them in line, though? I mean, you, it goes all day long. Well, we, what happens? We do a lot of talking in between. We try to hold their interest. We try to tell them about the film. We try to tell them what their participation means to it. And uh, their curiosity holds the other half of the interest. What sort of problems do you run across? Most of them are with people not paying attention and listening and disappearing on me and forever thirsty and hungry. Uh, but that's really not too much of a problem. One or two complaints. Uh, I didn't know it was going to be this hard this long or this hot uh, and we try to accommodate them on those facilities as well giving them plenty of drink and food and meaning uh, water and juices of course and uh, having them rest when we can uh, today is a little bit uh, out of the unusual. We don't do this particular type of scene every day. We started yesterday and we're building. Yesterday we had about 250 people. Today we have the full, I, I feel we'll have the full 500 people. But it's a very funny scene in the movie. I hope you all come to see Hardly Working, starring Jerry Lewis. That's it. Uh, I appreciate it. Okay, have it. Is she going to be in the movie? No, we're just watching. Is she going to be in the movie? Oh, no. Can you guys use the whole 
Okay. Excuse me, what's your name? Sally. Sally, what is the French way? <laughs> oh, <laughs> man, yes. Can't you tell us? I mean, you've got the shirt on. Come on, tell us. What's the French way? Here. Why not? <laughs> because you can't. Nice Why not? All right, well, well, everybody tell us about here, it. Describe it for us. Everybody okay. here, just spread out and fill up this area, please. <laughs> Hey, how you doing? It's a pony. What are you going to do? What's your name? Uh, you go through me. Go through me. been here a uh, little more than five hours broiling in the hot sun. We've completed one shot which lasted about 15 seconds and they call this movie hardly working. I'm learning that life as an extra on the set is not quite the same as that of the star and it looks like we're about ready to start shooting again. So we'll tell you how it all turns out tomorrow. From the set of hardly working in Fort Lauderdale, I'm Bill Draper, Channel 12 News. I have now been here almost five hours broiling in the hot sun. We completed one shot that lasted about 15 seconds and the name of the movie, ironically, hardly working. I am learning that life as an extra is not quite the same as that of a star and it looks like we're about ready to shoot again. So from the set of hardly working in Fort Lauderdale, I'm Bill Draper, Channel 12 News. Get on 
the other side of the street. Get clear of the street and stand on the curb on the other side. Please. Come on, help us. Okay, the main thing that we want to do here is to get this in one shot. It's, it's a bad time of the day. The temperature of where you're standing is 110 at the moment. We're trying to cool it down. When the rabbits come out... Hold on just a second. Can everybody move in closer, please, so that the people in the back... The main thing that I do not want you to do is chase the rabbits. Their body temperature is 104 normally. They do not perspire as we do, and within a matter of minutes, they reach a temperature equal to what they're standing on, and we have dead rabbits. We do not want this. You're going to lose out of the shopping carts past your legs. Do not run without looking where you're stepping. We, the rabbits will run normally and scurry from you. Do not chase them. I want the rabbit here. We're going to show you the proper way to hold a rabbit. They can scratch you very badly if you do not hold them the way that we should. We've spent the whole night. We started at 5 o'clock and lift it up. Don't get the ears. Can you do that, LaVon? Over here, show them. Yeah, yeah show them. This okay, and then tuck it around. Tuck it around in your arm. No, I want the head up. Give it the other position. Turn it around. Yeah, and turn it around almost like you would a puppy. Watch again while she picks the rabbit up. Please, close attention.
Ellen, what would you name it? Still shooting? this one. If we could, we'd just like to ask you how many scenes you've played like this with this many people and this oh, many rabbits. gosh, you know, I don't think I can count that high. <laughs> are you trying to protect that one or are you taking it home? No, I'm breeding it. You see, I, <laughs> I have another rabbit behind him. Is that the same one that you were keeping warm just a few minutes yes, ago? Yes, he is. Sexy little devil, isn't he? What are you going to name it? Well, I don't know, but if, if I get to keep it, I guess I'll call it Bo. How's the shooting been going down here? You've been having uh, pretty good success down here? Certainly. Yes, it's been uh, beautiful, warm, exciting, rabbits. <laughs> it's been terrific. Great. Thank you much. Thank you much. We appreciate it. All right, all of our extras, the people that were directly behind our actors. Let's get them right now. All right, we have about 30 people is all that were right in here behind. Everybody right here in this area. Before we start, this What are you doing? He's just uh, delivering the mail. Oh, we have spoiled everything. With him it comes on the dinner. Do you know this man? Do I know this clown? No. But what's under there, yes. Are you related to him, miss? He's my father. Somebody says a line, yeah, quick. Right, right. It's your father. You can't be male impersonator. You're all dead, and it should be fatal. So, are you going to talk to me? I'm going to talk to you, though. Not only are you fired, but I'm going to press charges. Your crime. <laughs> your God You're committing damn, a crime. You're committing a crime. Making fun. Yeah. You're, not only are you fired, but I'm pressing charges. 
You're committing a crime making fun of the Postal Service. I'm pressing charges for committing a crime. Uh, what? I'm pressing charges. I'm committing a crime making fun of the Postal Service. So what's the crime in making fun of the Postal Service? <laughs> we do it all the time. Uh -huh. <laughs> Wait a minute, that's not a laughing matter. He violated the sanctity of the mail. That's why he's fired. He says you can't fire him because he quits. He's also about to make his last delivery. What delivery? Oh, Bo, you've spoiled everything. Excuse me, do you know this? Oh, you're right. Oh, Bo, you've spoiled everything. With him, it comes on a dinner. Excuse me, do you know? <laughs> All right, roll. Very quick, please. We are recording. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, he says he's just delivering the mail. Oh, you spoiled everything. With him, that's on the dinner. Excuse me, do you know this man? You mean, do I know this clown? No. What's under there? Yes. Are you related to him, miss? He's my father. The clown's your father? He's the boyfriend. The father's your boyfriend? You keep out of this. Hi, Francis. Who ever thought we'd meet here? <laughs> Daddy, <laughs> do I know this lady? <laughs> Is there a love triangle here? Hold it. Hold it! Hold it! This is my daughter. He is her boyfriend. He used to work for me. She doesn't go with him anymore. He's out of work also. And this... This is a female impersonator. Well, Dwight's dead, and I hope it's fatal. Bo, are you going to talk to me? Well, well, I'm going to talk to you. Not only are you fired, but I'm going to press charges. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Apple take one. A camera mark. One. A little lighter. A, a lighter camera mark. One. All right. Action. Bo, are you going to talk to me? Well, I'm going to talk to you. Not only are you fired, but I'm going to press charges. Your crime against the post office on a stinking cup. <laughs> Cut it. <laughs> Your crime. All right. Action. Bo. Are you going to talk to me? But I'm going to talk to you, not on a... Here, cut it. Roll. We're rolling. We're committing a crime. Bring it over here. You can't do that. Everybody back in the And walk into it. I won't know until the film is released whether I'll be on the screen or on the cutting room floor. But then I have an advantage over all these other extras. I'll be on television. From the set of Hardly Working in Fort Lauderdale, I'm Bill Draper, Channel 12 News. Okay, and stand by. Three, two, one. I won't know until the film is released whether I'll end up on the screen or on the cutting room floor, but I do have one advantage over all these other extras. I will be on television. From the set of Hardly Working in Fort Lauderdale, I'm Bill Draper, Channel 12 News. And I'm Bill Draper. Take it from me, being an extra in a Hollywood production is no bed of roses. And we'll show you why tonight, along with all the rest of the news, sports and weather, on Channel 12 News at 6 o'clock. And at least I can remember my lines. <laughs> and I'm Bill Draper. Tonight, on my second part of... Uh, yeah. And I'm Bill Draper. Tonight I'll finish up my story on what it's like to be an extra in Jerry Lewis's film, Hardly Working. And we'll show you 500 other extras plus 200 rabbits. And all the rest of the news, sports and weather tonight on Eyewitness News at 6 o'clock. And I blew it. Let's try to slow down for you guys. I'm going to tear this thing down for you. <laughs> oh, go ahead and start tearing it down. Oh, okay. okay and... 
And I'm Bill Draper. Tonight I'll finish up my story on just what it's like to be an extra in Jerry Lewis's movie Hardly Working. I'll show you 500 other extras, 200 rabbits, and all the rest of the news, sports, and weather tonight on Channel 12 News at 6 o'clock.